kind of person would blow up our lab? That clown from Washington, D.C.? Newt Gingrich? Ooh, I like the sound of this one. We sure are glad you chose the pink party. No longer under federal investigation. Ooh, catchy campaign slogan. Not to brag, but last election we ran a darn respectable campaign, considering we're a party of two people. How many votes did you get? One. Now, as Mr. Pinky's campaign manager, there are a few things we require. A private plane, a state-of-the-art war room, and five-star hotel accommodations. We got a bus. You got yourself a deal! I must begin to plan our strategy. Assemble the staff. <clears throat> uh, that'd be Sweaty Pete. Sweaty Pete. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm your man. Uh, I was campaign strategist for Nixon in 1960. Uh, before the Kennedy debate, I advised Nixon to act real edgy and sweat a lot to get the nervous man's vote. Uh, I bounced around for the next few years. The Bay of Pigs, that was mine. Uh, then I did PR for Billy Carter. Told Dukakis, you look real handsome riding in that tank. Uh, when I was with Stockdale... You can drive the bus. Okay. With only two weeks until the election, the maverick social philosopher come politician Ulysses Delano Fitzgerald Milhouse Pinky, known to his friends as Ladybird, has announced his candidacy for president. <laughs> Currently, the polls show Clinton in the lead, followed by Mr. Pinky, Pat Paulson, the Trix Rabbit, and Senator Bob Dole. As the popular candidate spreads his family values platform throughout America, Sources report he is constantly immersed in high-level discussions with his campaign strategists. 98 bottles of beer on the wall, 36 bottles of beer, take one down, pass it around. <laughs> the last thing I need is your dirty paw prints all over my secret weapon. Behold! I hold in my hands the only remaining evidence of radio host Rush Limbaugh's failed singing career in the 1970s. Only 23 copies were pressed, and Rush sat on 22 of them. Oh, put it on, Brain! Make the fat man tell the blues! The contents of this record are extremely dangerous, Pinky. You will experience its full impact only when we arrive in Cleveland. Thank you! I've been looking for this record everywhere. Stop! You have my record! Somebody stop that man! That's the last of them! Oh, there you are, Brain! Oh dear, was that your record? Welcome to Hades. Next! Ahem! And you are? Uh, the Brain. I'm sorry, you're not in the database. Uh, perhaps you have me under my other name. Rush Limbaugh. Well, say, you look much bigger on TV. Well, uh, that last wheatgrass and jicama fast nearly did me in. Golly, I guess it did. <laughs> I know who can help you. So they took their friend Christopher's advice and went to see Algor the donkey, who lived on the next page. Um, when does this scene start to animate, Brainy? It already has, Pinklet. The question is, when does Algor start to animate? The President and I are pleased with the manner in which we are moving toward the 21st century by building a very long bridge Algor's just going to keep on talking, isn't he, Blaney? Bridge, yes, Pinklet. But at least we know where all that wind was coming from in the last chapter. The warm breeze is rather restful. Warm breeze. Hot air. That's it. Pinklet, are you pondering what I'm pondering? Um, I think so, Brainy. But why would anyone want to pierce Brosnan? As remarkable as this fact may be, Pinklet, you've missed the point. Al Gore is full of hot air. We shall use him to levitate us to the upper stratosphere. As we cross the bridge, we have built to stand upon a platform built by contributions the president Oh, we're finally going back to Kansas! I think I was the scarecrow most of all. Wrong book, Pinklet. Oh. My name is Brain, and I want to take over the world. Hi, Brain! Does anyone want to share? Neil! 
I got some charts and graphs showing my progress since I got with the program here. You see, my problem was a lack of self-esteem. I thought I was just a weird looking little guy with big floppy ears. But since I met Brain here, I love me. <laughs> Please, Ross, my friend, you can't make any judgments on others. Larry Kling live here with Suzanne Slimmers and the Thigh Monster. Let's take some calls for Suzanne. Hello, Bangor, Maine. Um, Suzanne, how do you stay looking so good? Three words, Thigh Monster. <laughs> I could watch that for hours. Hello, Walla Walla, Washington. Now, Pinky. <laughs> Go ahead, Walla Walla. Hello. I am not Walla Walla. My name is John Brain, and while I find Suzanne's interests captivating, I am here for another purpose. And uh, what might that be? Larry, I would like to announce my candidacy for President of the United States. You are running for President, Mr. Brain. Now, why are you doing that? I plan to take over the world. We're expecting the independent candidate for president, John Brain, to speak with reporters by remote broadcast any moment now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Your questions... Mr. Brain, over please, Mr. Brain. Mr. Brain, have you chosen a running mate to be your vice president? Yes, I have. Admiral Pinky. No! <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> no. Mr. Brain, why have you not yet appeared in public? I've been developing my plan for the presidency. Uh-huh. And what is it, sir? I want to A, cut the deficit, B, lower taxes, and C, take over the world. <laughs> 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 I like him. Hey, look, it's John Brain's new commercial. When I take over the country, everyone will work for me. He means jobs. Jobs for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. If people oppose me, I'll teach them a lesson. Thank goodness, he's for better education. So surrender quietly and no one will be hurt. Hey. No one will be sick. Yes, health care. <laughs> Great health care. I like him. Mr. Boyne, you've captivated the voters' common sense, but what about you personally? Are you married? Yes. Let me introduce my lovely wife, Pinkinia. Hello, Bob. Zot. I am woman. Hear me roar. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sir, isn't it true you once built a giant clothes dryer designed to create a worldwide case of static cling? Preposterous. Worldwide. That was solely for my own personal laundry. I, I have uh, many, many socks. Is it not a fact that you once schemed to buy all the real estate above the 24th floor, then flood the world, leaving you a sole owner of all viable apartment space? Please, you insult me. It was the 39th floor, and it, I mean... No. Given the preponderance of condemning evidence against Chief of Staff Brain, this committee finds him guilty of sedition, abuse of power, and shoplifting. The public stoning will be tomorrow. But the Congress doesn't have the power to do that. All in favor of giving Congress the power to stone, say aye. Aye! Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? I think so, Brain. But if we have nothing to fear but fear itself, why does Eleanor Roosevelt wear that spooky mask? No, Pinky. 